Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 19 Ultimate Team game. The all out of position team is back once more as you could probably tell by our kickoff guy number 54 who actually wraps around and makes the tackle at the 26 yard line. He's a pretty good kickoff guy since he's a defender he can tackle and he's pretty fast. Second down and six Patrick Mahomes is gonna get sacked almost immediately by Orlando Brown who seems to be pretty good for an out of position defensive lineman DeAndre Hopkins is good at catching the ball that's what he does except normally he's catching passes from Deshaun Watson not from Mahomes as my opponent comes immediately with an a gap blitz you don't see that every day it's just the user rush or Roquan Smith one of the faster linebackers and it absolutely caught me off guard as Walter Payton comes very close to getting the first down it's third down in inches and once again look at how fast Roquan comes in I hit the beat button almost immediately and it still wasn't fast enough fourth down offense on the field and back off we go heh <sighs> Well, Lamar Jackson is not really known for catching the ball, so I can't be too upset. But at the same time, come on, Lamar. All you have to do is catch a simple little pass. We would have gotten the first down. Now we're back to seeing what Patrick Mahomes can do. A PA end the round. Throwback to like Madden 15. Third down and four. Mahomes looking and going downfield. That'll be incomplete. Calvin Johnson swats it away. And this is the moment we all wanted to see. Don Terry Poe. Oh, no, Don. Come on, Don Terry. Get up, big fella. Man, you don't normally get the chance to return punts in Madden because not many people bring out their punter. Not many people know what the word punter means in Madden. This guy punted straight down the middle, and unfortunately, Poe, um, yeah, I guess he can't even, he's so big, he can't even catch the ball. I don't know what the excuse is for him, but we are on offense here. We are going to buy a little bit of extra time by rolling out Walter Payton. The man coverage absolutely locking down our out of position receivers, and that'll be intercepted by Stefan Kilmore. Ah, I tried to get Taysom Hill a chance right there. The smart play, throw it away, but we are in a game, an online game with an all out of position team. Doing the smart thing has already gone way past us as our opponent goes play action with Patrick Mahomes first play at a second quarter. Oh, Calvin Johnson with the closing speed. Calvin's a pretty viable option at the safety spot, even for a normal squad. As long as you don't have a God squad, Calvin, pretty good guy. Like, he has over 90 zones, 6'5", with the jumping, pretty fast. So, you know, he's, as long as you don't go like Sean, I mean, I guess a lot of people have Sean Taylor free safety, but I mean, he's a good guy to sprinkle around in there, basically. As we get the interception with Melvin Ingram. Ingram. Melvin Ingram with the lateral to Calvin Johnson Megatron unfortunately gonna get tackled right there as much as I like to call oh here is Lamar Jackson <sighs> Lamar this is your day job if you can't catch you have to at least be able to throw the ball I guess not as Walter buying time and there's not even any icons in the screen so we gotta throw that ball away I, I would have thrown it downfield if there was an option to throw it as Lamar Jackson finally making a positive contribution in this game our offense has had a rough go of it so far and this play is not gonna help he sends a blitz and Lamar nowhere to go second down and 11 going middle and what a dime from Walter Payton right in the middle of the seams to Anthony Munoz I tried truck but I guess Munoz doesn't have high trucking which you would expect them to have decent trucking as we try to run over a man again. But Munoz is getting lit up right now. Play action going to Taysom Hill with the spin move. Hill down at the one yard line. Next play is the same play. And Hill even more open this time and can waltz into the end zone. And finally someone scores points in what has been quite the defensive battle. Look at 54. I believe it's Gruger Hill his last name. I, I apologize if I mis mispronounced his last name. I'm just stumbling all over the place even a Attempting to say the guy's name as he actually gets a completion right there just throwing down with the last second because he was under pressure second down and four I thought he hit the wheel route right there the wheel route to race I think it might have been a touchdown as he comes out wildcat third down this caught me absolutely off guard I wasn't even paying attention to what formation he came out in so I sent the cornerback blitz from the left side and that was just not what we needed so he's got a new set of downs and down he goes and again Orlando bro look at the 
Hey, Bella! Shake it, big boy! Shake it! This guy is balling out on the defensive line. Look at him again up the middle, forcing the lob. And DeAndre Hopkins. That's too easy for Nuke. He's got that one second user pick of the game with DeAndre. Do not put your hands in the cookie jar, especially. Like, literally especially when DeAndre Hopkins is there. Because, like, that's his day job to catch the ball. As John Madden calling a timeout right there. Eight seconds left. Trying to step up, but... Once again, our right tackle playing like an out-of-position player. Just getting whipped around by Lawrence Taylor. Second down. We just got to take our shot. Do anything. But as I try to wind up that ball. Long wind up from Walter Payton. Uh, one of three people sacked us right there. Like, I don't know if they actually split sacks. But, oh, Taysom Hill. Make moves, Taysom! Taysom. I really thought that was it. I, like, I, we, made, we made three people miss. And I still had two people in my face. Come on, blockers. Let Taysom Hill be great. But yeah, I don't know if they uh, give like 0 .33 sacks to anybody, but that would have happened at the end of the first half. As you see, my controller battery is going low, which means, well, that has nothing to do with this play right here. That's just a straight-up interception for Roquan Smith. I knew it wasn't a smart play when I did it, but... Like I said, doing the smart thing has way be past us. I was just going to throw up a jump ball to Munoz, who was kind of eating in the game. And instead, we turn it over. It's still a one-possession game right here. We're still messing around. But back to the controller batteries dying. Since you guys saw before, my controller batteries were dying. And we paused the game like eight times and caught a Hail Mary. We don't really have that option this time. And like I said, you know, since we're not really too invested in this right here, we're just having fun. I'm not going to use all my pauses to charge my batteries. So my movements are going to be a little bit off on offense. As Teandra Hopkins. Wow, way to light up Keyshawn Johnson. Okay, Diop, I see you out there. Second down and 10. Here's Mahomes. He's got a clean pocket until now. Kyle Long with the sack. Trying to do what his father does for a day job. Howie Long as he goes screen. Third down. Here's Shady spinning. And what an open field tackle by Julius Peppers. And on fourth down and six, he does not want the field goal. He's going for it. Pressure intercepted by Megatron. Calvin Johnson bouncing off of would-be tacklers down at the 12. This guy continues to put his hands in the cookie jar when we have wide receivers. Like, come on, man. You gotta be a little bit smarter than that as we try to bounce this outside. Lamar Jackson, what a one cut! And Lamar trying to catch the edge. A nice tackle there by Stefan Gilmore, who's been making a lot of big plays for our opponent. Trying to continue this jet sweep, but I guess we ran it one too many times. So, second down and 11, we're gonna try to run more of a normal opposite. Whoa, Lamar, get out the way, my dude! Thankfully, we are able to navigate around our own blocking running back and find Richard Sherman next play lob to Lamar first down and maybe could have been more if I didn't try it that spin move still we start the fourth quarter feeling pretty good about ourselves the main thing is we want to make it a two possession game we don't want to leave that door open and Walter Payton taking his shot oh Sherman had a step I don't know how Sherman birthed his man but Walter overthrows him third down Walter time taking off with some space gotta make a man miss Walter cannot do that tackle by Dion on fourth down and seven offense on the field here comes walter gotta get away from lawrence taylor who falls down and that's gonna give walter Payton some great rushing lanes first down and a ton more can walter get the touchdown absolutely not he fumbles the ball instead i feel like you should never want to slide down with qb walter Payton. but whenever i play with qb walter Payton, i feel like sliding down might actually be smarter than taking some of these hits i don't know walter doesn't seem like that kind of guy that you would expect him to be. Yes, yeah, that is a big time catch by, I believe, Evan Ingram. We had Julius Peppers in man coverage against him, so needless to say, that didn't work. 2.34 left in the game, and this is what I didn't really want to have happen. We've kept our opponent in the game by goofing around a little bit too much, and now he's starting to fit these balls into tight, tight windows, hitting Jerry Rice when Ronnie Lott looked like he might have been able to swat it. Out the two-minute warning comes Ricky Williams, who's taken down by Josh Jones. Remember last time how big of a game Josh Jones had? Second down, here comes Jones. He just gets it off to Ricky, and Ricky spinning, and it's actually going to get a positive gain out of all this, a gain of five. But this is definitely four down territory. Third down and six. Mahomes with the ball. Just some slants. Nothing really open. Going right side. Oh my goodness. Jerry Rice with a dirty catch on Ronnie Lott as he chews clock right here. He's trying to make this last drive a regulation. But that could bite him if he doesn't get a touchdown. He gets two yards that he needed. He needs one more here. QB sneak. Mahomes. No. No touchdown on the play. We call a timeout so we can't burn any more clock. Third down. Mahomes up the middle. Easy touchdown. And and now this will set up a game-winning drive for us. Oh, are you kidding me? Cut the epic music. Cut it. We don't need it. What? You. What? 
Oh man, he choked! Onside kick for the game is recovered immediately by Adore Jackson. He he still has all of his timeouts, so he's got a chance in this game, but oh, I am stunned! As you can probably tell, I am a loss for words right now. Second down and 14. We still need one more first down, and Walter Payton's gonna get it with his legs. There goes Sweetness. Don't fumble. Instead, break a tackle off of Gilmore, and we're gonna try to run one more, one or two more plays. Maybe give him a chance to get back into the game if, you know, we can force a fumble or get some sort of lucky play right here as we go up the... Nope, not up the middle with Lamar. Instead, we bounce it outside, and Lamar needs a second man to tackle him. He calls his timeout. Last play of the game. Just gotta not turn this ball over. Be careful. Don't do anything stupid, Walter. We tried. We tried. But at the end of the day, uh, we win the game in regulation because he missed the PAT. <laughs> oh, man. Like, for him? For him? He's, I don't know. He's, he's got to be sick. I just, I can't believe that happened. I was dying laughing when that happened live. I can't believe that. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like just straight up if you just got a good laugh out of him missing that PAT. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time.